I placed a tuft of cat hair onto my beloved's pillow to cause her a severe allergy. The next morning, Sylvia's face was swollen and she was breathing heavily. Oh my God! Tell me it will pass soon. I beg you. I can't reschedule today's meeting. I advised her to cancel everything and stay home. Then I poured some water into a glass and lied about it being medicine that would help reduce the swelling. Sylvia believed me because I worked as an allergist. While living for work, I took her car keys and told her that she would face dire consequences if she disobeyed me. I furtively threw out the hair on the silver's pillow. There was one more step left. I invited Sylvia's lawful husband, Tom, for lunch. He was an old friend of mine who didn't suspect that his wife had been living with me for a month. Last time, he admitted that he wanted Sylvia back. And for it to happen, he was ready to get rid of his beloved cat. That lousy animal gave Sylvia an allergic reaction. And Tom refused to admit it for a very long time. Hmm. I can't choose between them. It's cruel. Sylvia made the choice instead. She left her husband and let him live with his beloved cat. Then she filed for divorce and blocked him on social media. Tom expected to fix things during their personal meeting. He wanted to demonstrate that he had changed by finding a new owner for his cat. So I took some measures to prevent that meeting from happening. The lawyer said that she postponed the divorce negotiations. Do you think it's possible that Sylvia decided not to divorce me? I lied to Tom and told him that his wife had a scheduled appointment with me soon and I would be able to check her mood. Tom told me to give Sylvia balloons and cake before living full of hope. After work, I went to the grooming salon and waited for the hairdresser to hand me a fresh cut piece of cat hair. The next morning, it all happened again. Swollen face, fake medicine, and a tuft of cat hair thrown into the trash. I told Sylvia to stay in bed again. Then I called Tom and said that I had news for him. The happy adult was clearly expecting good news. With faint sadness, I told Tom that Sylvia was decided on divorcing him. She was especially disappointed with your lack of attention to her. She's allergic to the whipped cream on the cake and the flowery scent. Sad, Tom said that at least there was a positive thing in the whole story. He could keep his cat. 
When Tom got up to leave, he suddenly noticed something. <gasps> A photo of his wife on my desk. <sighs> I said the first thing that came to my mind. I'm making a booklet with reviews from my favorite clients. Tom was satisfied by my answer. He contacted Sylvia's lawyer and signed the divorce papers. I rejoiced at how masterfully I had solved the problem. But when I parked in front of my house, I saw Sylvia's suitcases outside. My girlfriend was almost done packing her things. I begged her for an explanation. What happened? I trusted a man I didn't know. That afternoon, in order to get rid of dust, Sylvia started vacuuming the bedroom and found some strange hair under her pillow. Then she remembered that in the morning, I had thrown something <laughs> into the trash can. I found a tuft of cat hair there. Care to explain this? I started defending myself and that I did it because I loved her. So, you're a doctor who thinks it's okay to hurt a patient? I was protecting you from making the wrong decision. You were going back to a man who loves a cat more than you. Sylvia demanded me to return her car keys and said that she was terribly wrong about me. She got into the car and started the engine. I kept knocking on the window, shouting and trying to convince her that she was making a mistake by going back to Tom. Do you think I'm choosing between an indecisive husband and a mean boyfriend? No, you both screwed up. If someone lies for the sake of love, then they are first a liar, and only then someone in love.